Hi everyone, this is another in the easy installment of variants. This one is called Staircase. And this is another 6x6. Six six. So every row, column, and box must contain a complete set of 1 to 6. And then digit along this gray line, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cells long. Of which that's the center, central digit. They have to read the same forward and backward. Okay, so in 1 to 6, the sum of those digits, which will be the sum for every row, column, and 2 by 3 box, because it contains 1 to 6, is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, which is 21, not 45. So what that means is here are three cells that sum to 15. The remaining cells must sum to 21 less 15, which is 6, and therefore these three cells here are 1, 2, 3. These are 4, 5, 6. Okay, 7 in three cells must be 1, 2, 4. In fact, there's no other way to do it. So what that means is this cell here at the very top right corner of the grid can't be 1 or 2 because it's spoken for by the 1, 2, 4 triple. So that's a 3. And these are 5 and 6. Okay, so these are 5 and 6. And that's a 4. Those are the same. And this digit is the same as that one. That digit is the same as that one. That's the same as that one. Okay, so these are one, two, three. Which means that's not one or two, so that's a four. Okay, these are 5 and 6. Let's see, this is 1, 2, 3, this is 1, 2, 3. So, so is that, and so is that. But, 1, 2 in this box means that can't be 1 or 2, so that's a 3. And therefore, this is not 3, which means that's a 3. Ah, one, two, one, two, and a three, okay. This is five or six, it can't be four. This is a five or six in the box. So these cells are four, five, and six, but that's five or six. It's got a four looking at it. That's probably the other of five or six, because this can't be five or six, that is four. Okay, uh, 4 plus 5 is 9, but then I need another 4 to make 13, so this can't be 5, that's 6. By palindrome logic, I can fill in its counterpart. 6 plus 4 plus 3 gives me 5, so 13 plus 3 gives me Okay, these are 1, 2, 5. All we know is that's not 5. It would help if I'm in the right mode. Okay, so a 5 and a 1, 2 means these are 3, 4, 6. Let's see, 8. I need eight and three cells. I need 13 and three cells. It doesn't contain a three. Hmm. It 
doesn't contain three or five, potentially. Well, seven's going to be too big, unless it's seven, four, two. Let's see, six plus three, and that would have to be a five. So this could be five. Uh, if that's 5 plus 3 is 8, this has to be 6. So that is a 3, 5, 6 set. Well, that tells me that's a 6 also. I've got 1, 2, and a 5, 6, and a 3, so... These are from 1, 2, 4, I think. Let's see, that's not 4 because it's got a 4 in its region. One two says the remaining of row 5 is 3, 4, 6, but that one sees 3 and 4. That is 6. Okay, now I've filled in the 5s. 5 plus 3 plus 6 to get me 14. That 5, 6 pair is done. Oh, one, two, central digits of four. Let's see, um, this is not five. One, two, looking at that, which now is five. This sees four and six in its row, that must be three. This now sees three and six, that must be four, so that's a six. I've got a whole bunch of one, twos left, including that one. That makes this one four. I need two cells that sum to eight that don't contain six or five. And I need two cells that sum to four. Well, these have to be one and three. This has a three looking at it, so that's one. That's three. That's a two, and now all I have to do is unwind all my one-two pairs. This one is done by 6 plus 5 is 11, and I need 2 to make 13. Well, this one was not that bad.